Hi, everyone. How are you? Great. Welcome to team building. <laughs> I'm Miriam. You're you. So let's get started with something I like to call conflict and you. Um, if you remember, a few weeks ago, you guys had your job satisfaction interviews at HR. Well, I recorded them and we're going to play them. So Whoa, here we go. Oh, that's ridiculous. Those are confidential interviews. Confidentiality. That's gone out the window, right, with the internet and such. Um, let's just get started. I think we've got somebody named Jordan up. So that's me. let's tuck into this. What don't you like about your crew? It's OK. This is confidential. But, uh, nothing. No, it's okay. It's confidential. Really? I think Kenny talks about Randall Cunningham too much. Mm. I don't talk about Randall Cunningham that much. I do have him on tape where I said, hey, Randall, who taught you how to throw on the run? And you know what he said? Kenny Maine. So we hate these <laughs> stories. In other words, we hate, it's good to say, I hate I those glory day stories from I UNLV. I hate those glory day stories. I hate them. That is awesome. Kenny, you're up to bat. Better up? Yeah, Ken. Lots of people call badminton badminton. Those people don't know what they were talking about. In badminton, your father takes about three hours to set up a net because there are rocks under the grass where he's trying to jam the post in. In the meantime, you and your friends kill each other with jokes about how the thing you were supposed to hit over the net, if your dad ever gets it set up, it's called a shuttlecock. shuttlecock. You keep repeating shuttlecock over and over. Yeah, pretty mocking, huh? He read 17 pages of his book. Wow. I think what you're doing is you're putting yourself above the team. And isn't that the lesson here? Is that no one is above the team. He's not above that the we're team. Trying. Not at all. He's not above the team. Ask Nobody's, above the team. Nobody's above the team. I am. Nobody's above the team. Nobody's above the team. I'm standing. I'm taller. I'm above. Focus in. Next up, Sarah. I don't know why we're doing that. I want to hear Sarah. Um, I, I love the guys, you know? I mean, I didn't get the promotion, but honestly, now that I see what Robin does for a job, I'm kind of glad I didn't get it. Who's Robin? Uh, Robin is, you know that giant eye from The Lord of the Rings? If you add, like, another eye and some glasses, that, that's Robin. Whoa. Look, Robin, I was just... Um, no, I'm looking. I'm looking straight into your bleak future, and it's full of crying and tears and crippling depression and cellulite. Wow. So what do you guys think about the whole Rob and Sarah thing, huh? This might be this might be the thorn in the side of this team. Hey, every rose, huh? Every, every rose. rose. The team every begins rose. Here. Okay, last but not least, Bruce the Goose. Who do you hate most about your crew? Uh, I don't, why would I hate my crew? They seem pretty hateable. You're great. My crew is terrible, man. I mean, I'd like to see them fail beyond belief. Oh boy. I'm not. I'm not okay with. I'm not okay with you guys doing that. Just to let you know, that's unethical. It's immoral. It's not. It's not right. I. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. I. I think. I know that those are your words. And hey. You I am pissed off, lady. F you, lady. That is not okay. What you did. You got me? Hey! I'm cowboy hats, I, I want, when I grow up, I want to be a cowboy. When I grow up, I want to be a ballerina. When I grow up, I want you to shut the f up. You know what, for once, I agree with you. I'm out of here. You are a dummy. You're, you, 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 are, you are dumb. You're dumb. Goodbye. And you, I take off your hat, Well, hat. I'll take it off and I'll put it on you and then what? Then I'll be the cowboy. Woo, shoot him up, bang, bang. You guys shouldn't leave. You don't do that to people. You go f off. You f off, Hatto. What? Hey, Hat. Jerk. Jerko. That was intense. Um, one time in college, everybody knew that Tark always put his keys under the floor mat for his Buick. And then when he was doing something, Randall Cunningham went out, took the car, and drove it to Caesar's Palace. Get out of here, because I got to clean this place up. 